Today I'm going to teach you how to multiply decimals. In this problem we're multiplying 4.2 or 4 and 2 tenths times 6.3 or 6 and 3 tenths. One thing I always have us do is look at the whole numbers, the 4 and the 6, and I want you to multiply the 4 and the 6 to see what that is to figure out what is our answer going to be close to. 4 times 6 is 24, so I know that my answer is going to be close to 24. So when I check my work, that's something I'm going to be looking for. Okay, when we're using the stacking method to multiply two-digit numbers, we always start on the right and move to the left. So I'm going to start with my 3 and move to the left. So 3 times 2 is 6. It's a single digit answer or product, so I'm going to put the 6 here. If it was a double digit answer, then I would carry that 10. 3 times 4 is 12. Since there's no other numbers to multiply the 3 by, I'm going to go ahead and put the whole product underneath the product bar. I've already multiplied my 3, so I'm going to go ahead and cross it out to make sure I don't get confused. And I'm now going to work on the 6. Notice I started at the right and I'm moving to the left. Started at the right, moving to the left. So since the 6 is 10 times larger than the 3, the way the place value works, I'm going to make sure to put my placeholder here to account for that. 6 times 2 is 12. Since I still have to multiply the 6 by 4, I can't put the whole 12 here. I'm going to put the 1s of the 12 here, the two ones, and I'm going to carry my 1 on top, which is what I'm going to add to my product once I do 6 times 4. 6 times 4, notice I went from right to left, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Since I have no more digits to multiply the 6 by, I'm going to put the entire product underneath. My job now is to combine these products. Notice that when I was multiplying these, I wasn't worried about the decimal yet. I will be using that when I determine if the answer is reasonable. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 2 plus 2 is 4, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 2 plus nothing is 2. If I know my answer is close to 24, I know I'm going to put my decimal here because then it reads 26 and 46 hundredths, which is close to 24. Also, I have one decimal place over to the left, one decimal place over to the left, which would make two total, one, two, and that also ensures that my decimal is in the correct place.